So we all know Christmas and it's sort of, it's an amazing time if you are personally. I love Christmas and you should know that I really love Christmas, but for the real meaning. I'm tired of the completely cliched and overdone Christmases that you and I both know about. It's like, this is going to be a video of things that I really, really hate about Christmas. Because Christmas is supposed to be amazing and often it's sort of ruined by unamazing things. So here's a couple of things that I really find that I hate and I'm sure you probably hate them too like because you know it's just really really bad so the first thing that i hate about christmas is how you have to find presents for people okay so i know i know you've got that one person out there that you sort of like you know huh? you know you're, you're close with and finding a present for that person is insanely difficult like you think you might know what you want to get so you go to the shops i go to tapa you know oh look this is this nice journal i think she'll like it and then like Two minutes later, you're like, what if she doesn't? What if she hates it? What if she hates me for getting this thing? And then everything's going in your head and just so crazy and you just don't know what to do and it's like, ish. And then you find this other random thing, you're like, oh, this might work. But then like, ish, but ish. I don't know. So that, that that's really a big problem. And then like finding presents for old people, you know, you don't know. Maybe if I buy perfume, do you think that's weird? If I buy them something like a selfie stick, will they understand how to use it? Buying presents for people can be really stressful because like, it's, I hate it because you just like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing and like, you know, us and our budget, you know, my budget is limited, right? Like, you know, I'm earning like little to nothing because like, what am I doing? I don't have a job, I'm, I'm at school. So then trying to afford, you know, ish, so maybe I write a card for everyone because you know, it's cheap, right? Or like, as the, uh, I would buy them a chocolate, but you see, the only thing I could afford is probably like a chomp, and then, you know, nah, yeah, so, number one there. Okay, so number two is music, like, you know, you, you know the music that you get in Christmas time, you know, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. We'll love that music, right? But like, you walk into the shops, and in pick and pay, you hear jingle bell. Okay, cool, you're singing along, go to checkers. And it just gets insane. Like you get so tired of hearing jingle ball, jingle ball, jingle ball all the time. And like it's it's just it's just overdone. Like I've been living on this planet for 16 years. I've heard jingle balls enough times already. Yeah, so that's that. And like you know I, what I hate is how people get Christmas songs wrong. Okay, like I've done it before, but that that's irrelevant. I'm not going there. But like you know that song, what's it? Like something about Christmas rocking, something, something rocking along this Christmas tree, rocking around the Christmas tree. People don't know the words. You know, there's some really hectic words there, and they sing about. I don't even know. You don't know the words either, so don't blame me. Here's the words. Did, did you know that line was there? Exactly. And then what I really don't like is stupid people who think that they can come and mess up Christmas carols with their own dubstep, their own Skrillex remixes and all that stuff. You know like, you know, Justin Bieber does Christmas songs. All those non-Christian people come and do Christmas carols because, you know, like, you know, I don't know, maybe they just feel like, you know, want to spread the Christmas love. You know, the rock up there, Justin Bieber's got a Christmas song, Selena Gomez, all of them have Christmas songs. But like, you know, like, it's overdone, like, you know, all I want for Christmas is you. Yeah, great singing else like this. Yeah. So that's number two, music. Music is a big problem. Christmas music is just annoying. You're just tired of hearing Hawk the Herald, even though you don't know what that's about, but you need to find out what it's about because otherwise you're just gonna be lost in there. So Christmas music is just, it's been done, eh? Okay, so, unlike Santa Claus, because Santa Claus like distraction hall, proper Christian, Christmas theme that you're trying to get across. So I don't like Santa. Like Santa's ugh, it's like a scary man. Have you ever thought about it? Like a scary man, like an old man, right, with beard, and he has like a limited vocabulary. Like Santa Claus knows like ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. What else does he say? Have you ever heard Santa Claus saying anything else? You've never heard Santa Claus saying anything else. He's standing there with his red hat. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. 
That's all he says. It's just Santa Claus can't even speak proper English. He doesn't even speak. I don't even know what language he speaks. Like North Polian. Like he speaks like I don't even know. He just doesn't even speak English. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. That's all he says. And then you let your children go sit in his lap and he takes pictures with them. <laughs> I would not do that. Santa Claus is worrying. Santa Claus is creepy, man. He climbs down people's chimneys. Climbs down people's chimneys in South Africa. Don't trust Santa. Do not trust. Him. Obviously, if you're a kid watching Santa Claus, like, it's amazing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that. Number three, Santa Claus. Okay, so number four is acting like you like presents. You know, okay, so just remember, live with me. So you got an aunt that comes from Washington, right? Her name is Auntie Flo. She gives you a present, you're opening it like. <sighs> Auntie Flo, you shouldn't have. Luma pink socks. <gasps> And then you have to try act like you love it. Oh, Auntie Flo, you're so amazing. Thank you. How did you know I wanted to with big socks? I really always wanted these socks. It's so amazing. I know, it's just it's just too much. Like, I, I can't even deal. Like, it's just, oh, you have to act and maybe your grandparent buys you like a pogo stick and you need to... Problem. Sorry, number five. Tinsel. You know what this stuff is? It's so annoying. It's one of my most annoying things about Christmas. It's like the bits get on your jacket and then it's all over the house and on the walls and on the trees and on the floor and it's just so annoying. Look at it and it just doesn't even, it's uncomfortable if you put it on your skin, it just causes problems. Don't use tinsel, it's really, 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 really annoying. Okay, that's number five. So number six is, um, you know those cr Christmas crackers and you look forward to them and you used to love them as a kid, like you want to go, yes, I'm going to crack the cracker. And it makes it really... You think it's gonna be really loud and actually really soft, right? And then you open it up and you're like, wow, a crown. <gasps> and it's made of plastic and then pretty soon it snaps. It doesn't even suit you. The color's all blue and it's like, it just doesn't work. And then, and then you get the, the toy, right? Or the, the, like, hair clip or the, I saw like a, what was like a pencil sharpener and a nail filer. I mean, those things are useful, right? But like, really, like really, you're expecting something cool like a I don't even know but it's just really anticlimactic like you're getting this really cheap toy and it's a Christmas crack and you're like oh, I was you were looking so forward to it and it's just a really cheap little toy that's annoying and then but the best part right is that 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 card with the joke inside the one I read was like it came like this it was like uh who was in the bakery during Christmas time you know no you don't the answer is Mint spies. <laughs> that one got me. Yeah, so that was number six. Those stupid cracking things. Yeah. Okay, so like number eight is Christmas shopping. You know, it's so annoying. We walk into the shops and there's people everywhere and the crowds everywhere. And all you want to do is maybe you're not even buying Christmas presents. You want to buy a cool t shirt because, you know, just like you want to buy a t shirt. And then there's millions of people there buying Christmas presents for their aunties and cousins and sisters and brothers and family and dogs and pets and cats and. And, and then you just want to buy your t-shirt and you walk into the line and there's queues and <laughs> Christmas shopping during Christmas time sucks like it sucks you walk into the mall you're trying to get there early and it's just queues of people and people just buying plasma screen TVs and you buying your t-shirt and it's just everything just not working <sighs> and then the other problem is when you are trying to shop for Christmas presents you don't know what to get people like how do you know you're gonna get auntie flow like perfume and then you want to get your gogo -go, like a, a pair of chinos you don't know you don't know if people are gonna like it and then that you get then like the other flip side you getting presents and you get useless presents i see some people get such sad presents like like people buy you bars of soap and like what you can do i mean are you implying that i stink and number nine last but not least because i like doing odd numbers not ten nine nine, nine the last one is that secret santa stuff right it's not when you buy a cheap present that nobody wants like a packet of knickknacks and then you wrap it up and give it to someone and say merry christmas and then everybody swaps presents right and people don't actually use it, they just throw it away that stuff is annoying because you put maybe you can be that guy that goes and spends like, time creating this beautiful present you give it to someone they throw it away the next day and you get a packet of knickknacks in return Secret Santa stuff is useless because it's so annoying. It's just people mass producing Christmas. I'm just like face palm and then I face palm myself because it's cool. So yeah, that's my nine things by why I hate Christmas. Wait for a few days and I'm gonna follow that up with a couple of reasons why I love Christmas because Christmas is amazing. So I'm not like all anti-Christmas stuff, you know. Christmas is bad, Christmas is from the devil, which is not, it's really awesome. 
So Christmas is awesome. By the way, watch Star Wars The Force Awakens. I don't know why I said that's a really good movie. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Keep dreaming and um, have fun with life. Enjoy Christmas. I hope it's fun. Just remember those things that you hate. If you have anything else, please comment it and like this video. Subscribe, please, because you know I need subscribers. Because YouTube is about subscribing and I don't have many subscribers. I've got 35. <laughs> please subscribe. And like the video because it means I'm fan fancy. Yeah, um, my name is Asher Party. If you didn't catch that, like in the bottom it says Asher Party. Anyway, just forget it. I'm Asher and uh, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to you too.